Hello fellow simmers and today we're back into Trains Plus. It's Samuel Beeman of BLS here and I'm going to be looking at LJ Trains' Cresswell extension for the BLS Duckham railway route. Which is basically, uh, if, you haven't, if you don't know much about this route, this route uh, was actually made by me um, originally in around about 2012. Uh, actually, <laughs> there's been multiple incarnations of this route uh, dating back to like 2004, 2005, so it's a really old route, but as you know, uh, and if you've seen the previous part of this uh, route, in fact I'll link the previous uh, video of this route in the description of this video, so you can take a look at that, but basically this is an updated version of the Duck and Railway, which is done by LJ Trains, and a little bit by myself as well, which is, I, I did most of the track work and other bits and pieces, whereas more, most of the work was done by LJ. And yes, yeah, so we're gonna be looking at his Cresswell extension and seeing the changes that he's made on this updated version of the Duck and Railway, like we looked at from, from what we saw last time. And also we're gonna be looking at his D7535 reskin Mercury, which just looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? It's a photo textured style reskin of the class 25 in trains, and it just looks absolutely stunning. I just think the 25 looks great in this livery, and it's also using our UK Train Sounds class 25 advanced sound set with horns, so it should make it a very interesting drive indeed. So, first of all, let's have a look at 7535. So as you can see, he's done a fantastic job on the skin. It looks the right colour, which is great to see. It just looks lovely in this sort of chromatic blue livery. It's also got the name plates, Mercury, on the side of the, in, in the appropriate places, as well as warning flashes and the numbering on the side there and BR emblems. Uh, the model isn't the best model in the world, it's actually uh, one of the very first uh, trains models. It's this, this model dates back to like 2002, 2003, so it's a very old model and just been sort of photo textured skinned on there. But it does look really nice, I must admit, and, and to be honest with you, it's much better than the DTG Class 25-3 for multiple reasons. Firstly, the marker lights are in the correct place, they're not like too far into the centre and it actually looks like a 25 and actually sounds like a 25 as well. And we've also got photo textured head code box as well, which is great to see as well. So what he's just told me in the, in the chat just now, he's told me to fly over to the uh, Helensboro section where we saw the abandoned branch line in the previous video, because apparently there's a few little, little changes. So we've got the obviously the great textures on the flooring there. So there's been a few changes. I wonder what those are. Ah, oh, cranes. These weren't here before. And we've got more construction going on here. Oh, I'm loving the cranes, they actually move as well. And we've got houses being constructed. Okay, this is looking better now. This is looking much better. I'm liking this, the cranes are great. And I like how, um, how it has all the houses being built. So this is definitely a housing estate being built. That's great to see. Well done, LJ. I'm like loving it. Again, you've put some more good stuff down. Uh, so what's what's changed here at Helensboro? Anything interesting? We've got a fire here. Oh, what happened to the station building? Oh, it's destroyed. It's been demolished. I kind of liked it when the station building was there, actually, but it's just personal preference but hey ho look at that here we are it's burnt down to the ground how sad well, we also have um we don't have any town on i think helensboro yet it would be nice to sort of have a town there but there you go that's just me being picky it's only if you fly over here i mean it's it's, it's unlikely any users are going to fly all the way over here is it it's, it's far away from the actual railway so it's not something you can necessarily see from the track very well is it uh, we've also got an, an oh this this is new I've never seen this before that's quite nice I like that that's cool I just like his little bits that he just adds it's just great to see also I will take a note just before I forget that his roads you see the roads here every single road links and I gotta admire him for that but he's made every road on this route link to somewhere so every road actually leads to somewhere and that's something you don't usually see in a train sim route so that's that is something 
that is really nice to see and, and, and I do admire him for his detail there that he's actually linked every single road to actually lead to somewhere which is fantastic really it just adds to the realism anyway enough chatting around we've seen Duckan before if you want to see you know more of Duckan then please go to the previous video in the link in the description but we're here for the Cresswell extension so we're going to head into our 25 and depart the station we're going to get a sort of enthusiast view for a roundabout here we'll get our HUD, HUD up there we go put ourselves into forward and release our brake We've got the road, so we're all pretty much ready to go. If you are interested in what you see here, you know, this route and reskins and sounds, don't worry guys, that is coming to the BLS website eventually. It's just a case of getting it all sorted out and getting all the um, the page sorted because it is quite a big job because we've got a lot of trains content and to put it all on the site is going to take me a little while that's why it's taken a little while longer than what I said it would yeah sorry about that guys Another thing he has added actually, and he did take note to my previous comments in the previous video I did of it, he's actually changed so we actually go 25 miles per hour out of Duckin now, we don't actually go 15 which was just really painful. So we're now actually going 25 out of Duckin now which is great to see. So in a moment we'll open up our train and get ourselves moving to that 25 miles per hour mark. Can you guys spot the plane in the sky, guys? There it is. Look, you can see it up there. I just, I just, I just love details like that. He do, <laughs> just, I do love the detail he puts into some of his routes. I admire him for that. Like seriously, it's great. It's brilliant. I mean, LJ is definitely our trains man, without a doubt. He knows this game off the back of his hands, he can make good content for it, and yeah, he's undoubtedly our main trains man in the team. Ah, oh, that's not supposed to happen. Um, we've gone down the wrong way. That's usually set. That was set in the previous version. Why is it going? <clears throat> Why is it done that? That's so annoying. That's usually set the other way. Okay, so just a little note while we're here. 
yeah he's actually put the colour light signal down now as you can see we've actually got colour light instead of um, what it was before because it used to be a semaphore and as I said technically it will be a colour light because it's the main line bit so yes that's good we have that this is, this is so annoying why it's done this it's pissed me right off he says why has it done this? It, it was set like the other way before. So. So guys, do take note, if you do um, install the Crestwell extension, make sure this road is set before going over it. have to go up to speed again now. Okay, so something else that's new he has added, and he said that there is actually a triangle, so he's, he's added more abandoned bits. Um, oh, I think it's further up. Yeah, it's further up down here, actually. Yeah, so as you can see here, look, okay? There's an old bridge here, look, with where the um, the track used to go over. And yeah, and basically he's added this in as like, because this used to be like, as, as if this used to be like a triangle that used to link to the main line. So basically you had a bit of a triangle going on here, heading up the Duck and Branch, which is a nice touch. Something a bit extra to see on the route. Junction, junction point there. Ah, oh, it's almost as if that was part of the old junction. Interesting. The, the remains of, of the, um, whatever it's called. Ah, oh, that's it. The remains of the ground frame. That's, that's the word. Coming up to Pride Park Station, which is the first stop on the Duck and Railway. You can tell I was quite young when I made up the name Duckan. I obviously thought of a duck, you know, quack quack duck, and then just put a EN at the end of it.
Also noticed he's had the whistle sign before the station now, which is good, because I did say it should be a whistle sign now. Doesn't this just look fantastic? I mean, just look at that. Brilliant, isn't it? A little something I have note. I want to take note actually is, is this this wire fencing here. Uh, I think this wire fencing should go a little bit further up to about yeah where that is there, and then just yeah sort of. I mean I don't know why it's floating in there. Um, sort of sort of meet the 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 railings of the of the bridge this should be where the both the wire fencing is heading up there because at the moment you've just got this sort of this sort of gap here where people can just come and then just sort of trespass on the railway so, so these wired fencing can sort of come all the way up to about yeah say here and then stop probably be the best bet for them yeah anyway moving on I mean, its route is very nearly done. In fact, it's 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 to the point where it could be released now. You know what I mean? It's it's it's, it's very well done. Look at this, just look at this scenery though, I just, it just looks so much better than what it did ages ago, it just looks so alive and it just looks so great, to modern standards. Obviously I'm chuffed to bits with how it's turned out, but the old Jay's done such a grand job man. Uh, we're on a downhill part here, so we need to be careful with our uh, speeds. Oh, what the heck? Wow, okay. Look at that. Proper underneath there. <laughs> okay. We're into Pride Village now, so we need to start slowing up. We've also got a whistle sign coming in here as well, I believe. Oh my god, what is going on with this? That's it. Oh, I'm overshot him. Uh, just to get used to do, uh, I'm just not used to driving this. Like I've been on obviously TS 2021 lately, and when you've been on TS 2021, you sort of you forget how it's driven. I guess it doesn't matter because it's only like a two or three platform station anyway. You see the lights work on it, although the way it's sort of set out, it's sort of got the two either side there, it's just obviously how Trains has done it, but, but yeah, so the lights do work on the Hitco box. I sort of 
prefer to have them off myself, but then you know. I've got another plane. Obviously these planes are static guys, they don't actually move, but you know, it's just nice to have them as part of scenery, isn't it? Just leave it open for a bit. token from the man. So collect it there. Now this isn't a usual public stock uh, stock uh, public stop here at uh, Pride Yard. This is actually mostly used for engineers but basically on special occasions like events and things like that you'll get the occasional great van rides to Pride Yard and back again to North Burton Neil. Just to give members of the public to look around the sheds and things of the old locos and stock. So yeah, that's, that's the story behind that really.
past the ground signal box at, uh, at uh, uh, I don't actually remember the name of it. Where is it? What is it? Oh, Pride Way. <laughs> Blimey, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, I forgot where my own um, my own names were. Root. Do you believe it? We'll soon be arriving at North Burton Hill, which is basically the station where trains pass each other on the railway. So it's the main point where trains, you know, pass. If there's double trains, two train operation. And if there's three trains operating at a gala event, usually they pass at both Pride Yard and North Burton Hill. There's the stories. I'm just doing the stories of this fictional line, because it is fiction, guys. This is not a real place, a completely fictional route but it's just, you know, using your imagination. As you can see, the uh, on the left-hand side, we have uh, a burnt field and trees where we've had a line-side fire from one of the steam locomotives. Uh, that's quite common, especially on hot days on preserved railways. So we're reaching 20 minutes. 20 minute, uh, 20 limit. Blimey, what's going on with me this evening? There is one fault with this station which really irritates me, and irritates Will as well actually, who else, who have, the other person who's sort of tested this route. Um, it's to do with the station I think, it's, it's a lovely station North Burton I really love the model, but you do have this slight issue where the train just stops automatically. I don't know whether that's a thing, like maybe that's a, a thing in the, in the options where it just does that, but you'll see in a minute it will stop around about here on its own, watch. There you go. See what I mean? It just stops. And it must be something to do with the settings or, or, or the, the options, but it, it is really quite annoying because you want to stop at a certain point, but you can't. It just constantly stops you there. So it's probably something to do with the, with the game itself, which is some sort of setting that will stop that. I think there is. I think I remember reading about it, but obviously I haven't changed it on mine yet. But yeah, it's, it is rather annoying. So LJ, let, let, let me know if this is an option that I can change on the, on the game. It's obviously like an automatic stop point or something. Okay, so at the minute we've got a, a red signal, so that must mean that some of the points are not set. Um, that's set. Uh, that's set. Is it... Um, okay, that's set and... No, okay. So that's set. Okay, so why is the signals... At danger. That's interesting. That's that's see that's yeah, why are the signals at danger? Is it because of that? Do I need to be in that road? Interesting, okay, so the signals are at danger here. Don't know why that is. It's, it's probably because it's heading up to the end of the track, but even if it's ending at the end of the track, they, they should all be working like they should that section signal should be up because um, it's clear to the next signal, so I don't understand why it's doing that, that's weird. Well, yeah, that's interesting. Give it a thrash out of North Burton Hill.
Notice how you can do the wheel slip feature on this um, sound set, guys. That's what I just did a minute ago there. I'm liking this wire fencing along the side there, that's cool. Here we are passing Bertineal carriage sheds. This is where old coaching stock is stored. moved the signal box to the opposing side. It's interesting. Actually looks better that side because then the um, the carriage shed doesn't like, you know, cover it so it doesn't like, you know, because you can't really see it when coming down from Duckham. Okay, so here we are at New Hampton, where the um, miniature railway is, at Lakeside. We're not going to have a look at that today because we had a look at it in the previous video. So if you want to see the Lakeside miniature railway, you'll see it in the previous video. Apparently, he's sorted out the um, yeah. See, he's put 25 limits on the actual railway now, so it doesn't just stay capped at 40 miles per hour. So that is 25 as well. Oh, we're in the water. He's also fixed the uh, the bridge, so this time it actually has some ground there as well as just you know just a bridge going across which is good to see so it looks like a bit of a reservoir rather than just a, a big long stretch of bridge going across which is good so i'm glad he's fixed that because that was something i didn't really like and yeah oh we're showing a green signal now okay so, so for some reason that signal at north burton Hill outside the station just doesn't want to work how interesting yeah so we've got a green signal now it's weird So we're going to head up to the Cresswell extension now. Just turn that off just in case it's interfering with the audio. Off we go. This is the new bit, just a couple of metres of track really. This is Cresswell Forest. Look at that. So basically the idea of this station is uh, basically a bit like, you know, Fetford Forest. I don't know whether you guys are around Norfolk Way. That you, you, you've probably heard of it anyway. Everybody's probably heard of it. But Fetford Forest, which is like a a national park uh, where people can go and chill and have picnics and all sorts and there's a few bits in there like go ape and combat paintballing and stuff like that uh, so it's basically like that really it's it's pretty much like a national park resort place where people can get off and enjoy sitting in the sun in the shade even in under the trees have their picnics do whatever other attractions are in the area and yeah that's the idea of it. Uh, Cresswell station is also scripted to have um, picking up 
people from the station. So we actually need to be further in the ram round actually with our stock. So we can just about manage five coaches. So probably the limitations, uh, the most that you can get on a train is five coaches. At any of the stations. But yeah, so basically this ends our video, guys. Obviously we've got, uh, as you can see, we've got some people walking down there. It's great to see. I'm, I'm loving his, I love the way he does animated people. It's really cool, isn't it? So we'll just go a little bit further down here. And we have a picnic area here. This is where people have their picnics. And as you can see, we have the former Cresswell Tunnel, which is all boarded up. And sadly, no more and no longer in use. I don't think the railway will be able to afford going through that tunnel, to be honest with you. That would be a very expensive thing. As you can see, even the back is completely caved in. So, yeah, uh, you pretty much have Bob Hope and no hope of getting through there. So, this is probably all that's going to be of the Duckham Railway. It's probably not going to go any further than this. But, yeah, I hope you like the route, guys. And uh, when it's out and about, I hope you enjoy playing it when it's uh, finished and all done. So thanks for watching guys, it's been Samuel Beeman of BLS, well done on the Duck and Railway LJ, I do seriously admire your work, and yeah, comment, like and subscribe for more guys, and let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see in the future. It's been Sam Beeman of BLS, goodbye for now.